To create your Shopify store, you can go to shopify.com or if you'd like to support this channel, you can use our affiliate link down below in the description. You'll come to a page that looks something like this and let's click on start free trial. You can see here you get the first three days for free and then an additional month for just $1. You can sign up with your email or an Apple account, Facebook, or Gmail. To create your account, enter an email. I'm a human. Continue with email. Choose a password. Create account. Save the password. Okay, so trial just started. Pick a paid plan and get first month for a dollar, $50 app store credit to customize your online store and bonus features. Let's just do that right away. There are three main plans for Shopify. You have basic, Shopify, and advanced. You can select any one of the three and pay a dollar for the first month. As you can see, the most popular plan is the basic plan, the one we're going to go with today. But no, you can always upgrade at a later date if you need additional features. Here you'll enter your credit card information. You can see along the side, you pay a dollar for the first month, $39 for the months after that. If you want to save some money, you can switch the annual plan. You see along the top, save with yearly billing, $120 off, pay $29 per month instead of $39. Here you want to add your business address. And then let's go through the questions I ask. Where would you like to sell? For me, just an online store, no in person, maybe social media. I don't have a website, no marketplace. Okay, online store. Which best describes you? I'm already selling or I'm just starting. I'm just starting. And then what do you plan to sell first? Products I buy or make myself. Yes, get started. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today. And it's also our favorite as well as you can see in this video in the description below. Porkbun offers hundreds of domain extensions at low prices, so you can get the perfect domain for your online shop at a great price. Get an additional dollar off using the code thefitcode 24 at checkout. Later on, I'll show you how to add a domain to your Shopify store. Now we'll just run through the checklist that Shopify lays out for us. Add your first product. The first thing you need is the name of your product. We're also gonna be selling t-shirts. This will be a white cotton t-shirt. Then you want to fill in the description of the product. If you're not quite sure what to put here, you can use AI to help you generate the text. If you're happy with what it generated, just click on keep. Now you want to add media. You have the option to add images, videos, or 3D models. And then scrolling down further, you have the price of the item. So let's say the shirts are $35. Yes, we'll charge tax on this. Then you can add the cost per item. So let's say these are $15. And then I'll calculate our profit as well as the margin per product sold. And then do you want to track your inventory or not? So we'll leave that check. Here's the address. Continue selling when out of stock. If it's something you can quickly get back in stock, you can continue selling. If you're out of stock, this may take a while to get from our supplier. So we're not going to check that. If you have SKUs or barcode you want to track, you can add that as well. For shipping, you want to add the weight of the product. T-shirt weighs, let's say a pound. And then down below we have variants. So if you have different sizes or colors or other features, you'll add that information right here. So for our white t-shirt, we're gonna have different sizes. So we want that. All right, done. Here, if you have different prices for the different sizes, you can adjust that as well as how many of each one you have in your inventory. So let's just say we have five of each size. And then here it'll show you what it looks like in a search engine listing. When you're done adding all the product information, click on save. Now the product's been saved, we can preview it as well. Here's what the product page is going to look like. We have the size of the t-shirts as well as the quantity like purchased. You can add the cart or buy it now. You can see along the right hand side, they're guiding us through the process. The next step is to customize your online store. Let's click on customize theme. Scrolling down further, you'll see a couple of popular free themes. If you don't see what you're looking for, you can see right here, explore more themes by visiting the theme store. There's a dozen free themes as well as 174 paid themes. Let's see what the current theme looks like. This will work for me. Let's just continue with the Dawn theme and customize it. So right now you can see we're editing the homepage. Let's just go through it from top to bottom. So the first thing we have is the announcement bar, the little strip along the top right here. If we click on the text, you can see that it comes up along the right hand side. Let's say um, sizes, bat and stock. And we want to send people to our white cotton t-shirt and click on save. Then below that, we have the header. The first thing I want to add is our logo. To do that, edit your logo in theme settings. So we'll click on that. And then here are the theme settings. So select image, 
We don't have our logo yet, so we'll add an image. Here's our logo, open, file, upload it, done. You can see here they added our logo. We can adjust the width a little bit to make it larger. The next thing I want to add is a favicon. This little icon at the top of your browser. Why don't I really quickly run you through the theme settings while we're here. Below the logo, we have colors, typography, layout, animations, buttons, and a whole lot more. We're done with the theme settings. Let's click on save and then back to the header. And then here you have all the header options. So we have the main menu. So that's going to be what links you have along the top of your store. We'll leave that as it is for now. With the header, you can change the logo position. You can adjust the menu. You can choose if you want to have a sticky header or not. So will the header only be at the very top. If you scroll up, does it appear or is it always there? You can change the color scheme. You can make your site multilingual and have the switching between languages and the header and more. Below the header, we have the homepage itself. Let's change the image banner. All right, there is that. Now let's change the heading text, which shows up right here. And then you can change the heading size if you'd like, small, medium, large. If for whatever reason it's hard to read the text, you could obviously change the color of the text, or you can change the image overlay opacity. So if you make this really dark, obviously you can't really see the background image anymore. Or if it were really light, the text doesn't really stand out. But where it was before, I thought looked pretty good. This is fairly easy to read. The next thing we have is the button. So here, first button says shop all, um, get your tea. And do we want that to go to all products or to a specific product? Let's go to product and the white t-shirt. So it's not going to take you to the list of products. It'll take you to the product page. And then down further, we have the feature product section. If for whatever reason, there's a section here you don't want, you can see along the right hand side, you can just remove a section. Do that really quickly. And then same thing, you can add a section. So let's add one right here. What do we want? We could just add back the feature collection again, a feature product if we want a single product, which is all we have right now. So maybe that makes sense. Let's just add the product and there we go. And what we want to do now is select the product we want featured, the one t-shirt we have. And there we go. We have the feature product on our homepage. If this is the product you want highlighted, click on select in the bottom right hand corner. And then let's save. Down below this, we have the foot of the website that's going to show up on all the pages. Let's add an additional section to our homepage though. So you can click the plus and add a section to template right here or right here along the left hand side. You can also add a section. Let's add a multi column section. Let's change this to testimonials. Then you can go in and fill in the text for the other testimonials. If you want to add an additional one, you can click on the plus icon and you can see it'll add an additional one here. You can add as many as you'd like to show up in this section. Then let's update the button. To do that, you see button label right here, get your T and then the button link. We're going to send people to the same product page. I think for now we're good with the homepage. Let's check out the other pages. Here's the catalog page. This page is created just like the homepage. We can go and add additional sections. We have a product grid right now. If we click on it, you can see you can add the number of products that show up per page and the number of columns that'll show up on a desktop computer. I think I'm good with this page. Let's now check out the contact page. The contact page, I think is fine as well. Someone can give us their name, email, phone number, and add a comment. Something that'll help you build trust with customers is having clear store policies and Shopify can help you with that. You want to go to settings and then click on policies. Here you have the different policies. So return rules, written return and refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy, and contact information if you're selling into the EU. Shopify has templates you can use for the return and refund policy, privacy policy, as well as terms of service. You can see here, save policies are automatically linked in the footer of your checkout and can be added to your online store menu as well. Obviously it's important to read through each of these policies, make sure you agree with everything that's written, make any adjustments as necessary before you put them up on your website. I'm good with these for now though, so I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna close out of settings and then let's go back to the store. 
And what I want to do now is add all the policies to the footer so it'll show up on every page of the website. To do that, scroll down to the bottom, click on footer, then along the right-hand side, scroll all the way down, and you'll see right here, policy links, and then click on the checkbox for show policy links. And then you can see them show up along the bottom right here. All right, now that those are there, let's click on save. Let's exit out of the template editing. The next step in the process is to add sharing details. Here we want to add the homepage title and meta description. Then here is the social sharing image. So if someone shares a link to your website, what image do you want to show up? Here's where you can add Google Analytics and a Facebook pixel. And then if I want to turn off the password so anybody can access the store, I can unselect this right here and then click on save. Now let's add a custom domain. To connect a custom domain, you have two options. You can buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. To buy a domain from Shopify, click on buy new domain and then search for the domain you'd like to purchase. As you can see, a .com domain from Shopify will cost $15 per year, but if you purchase a domain from porkmon.com, a .com domain only costs $10.37 per year, and you'll get an additional dollar off the first year by using the link in the description below, or by adding the code, the FIGCODE24 at checkout. Your domain purchase with Porkbun also includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. Once you purchase your domain from porkbun.com, you'll come here and click on connect existing domain, enter the domain you'd like to connect, click on next, and then follow the instructions that you'll find right here. The next step in the process is to name your store. Here you have the store name, store phone number, and store email. Then click on site. Now we'll set the shipping rates. Here's everything related to shipping and delivery. The first thing you want to set is the shipping rates that you'll charge to customers. Let's say that we were good with these rates for the US and then down below there's international shipping. But if we just click on these three dots, let's delete it. We only want to ship in the US right now. Let's not complicate things as we're just getting started. If we were good with that, we click on save. And if we scroll down further, you see Shopify shipping, buy and print discount at shipping labels from Shopify shipping, USPS, Discounts up to 67%, UPS discount up to 82%, DHL discounts up to 72%. If you want to ship with FedEx, they recommend you add the app FedEx by Shippo. The next thing we want to do is set up Shopify payments. Here up top is the Shopify payments. This works well if you're in the US, Canada, Australia, a lot of European countries, and more. If the country you're based in or the main market you're selling in doesn't have Shopify payments, don't worry. Shopify has a countless amount of payment processors that you can use in basically any country around the world. So wherever you are, there'll be a way for you to accept payments with your Shopify store. For this tutorial, I'm not gonna go through all the steps of setting up Shopify payments. I'll just connect our PayPal account. Now that we can accept payments, the only thing we have to do is make sure everything is working and displayed properly. I'd do a test order to make sure that the checkout process works. And then I'd make sure all the pages display well on a computer, tablet, and phone. With that, you're ready to start selling with Shopify. If you need a domain for your online store, don't forget to go to porkbun.com with the link below and use the code thefigco24 at checkout to get an additional dollar off your domain. Already have a domain? You can use the same code to save a dollar off transfer your domain to Porkbun and save on your annual renewals. If you're not set on using Shopify and want to check out other website builders, watch this video right here, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.